Greg Hunter. So Jordan, specifically, what, what kind of challenges Sam Ellinger bring? Uh, I just did an <clears throat> a interview, a phone interview. I think watching him, especially over the last two years, I think he's probably the best competitor in our league. Um, talent, I think, speaks for itself, but a lot of things that he does that a lot of plays he makes, he, it's almost like he kind of wills them. Um, and that's that's competitiveness. And um, got a lot of respect for that kid. He plays hard. He makes them go. Um, he's, a, he's a huge challenge. Michael Sussman. Uh, what have you seen on film so far from Texas's offensive line? And what are you guys going to have to do to, uh, to put pressure on Sam Ellinger? Uh, you know, they're probably the best I've seen up to this point of, of picking picking things up. Um, twist game-wise, they do a really good job uh, in protection. Um, Ellinger gives him the opportunity to do what he likes to do, which is make plays on the run. You know, they give him enough time uh, to do that. And when people try to, whether it's pick and roll and try to get find a way to get to him, uh, they do a good job of picking it up. And, you know, they're pretty, um, they're pretty simple in the run game, which I think any team that's good at running the football is schematically. Makes so allows those guys to play fast, and, and they do a good job. Mike Kazaza. Hey Jordan, I asked Neil this question, and I don't really know where I'm going with it. And he didn't have a great answer, so you got a pretty low bar to clear here. But I asked them, I noticed that Tony's assists for tackles are about twice as many as solos, which is a strange proportion, but it also may speak to the way that, you know, he's flying around or maybe the way that you guys want people to follow the leader there and, and be active and get to the ball. Does that stat mean anything as far as how you're performing? Um, ne the next time that you have a question for, uh, for any of the, the defensive linemen, um, that's the one stat I talk about more than any other stat is assisted tackles. Because all, what that tells me is you're around the football. So yeah, that stat matters a lot. Um, it's my number one stat. As far as individual statistics, sacks are one thing, tackles for loss are one thing. You either get those by your talent level or the scheme creates them. But assisted tackles is simply a choice to be around the football. All right, and if you <clears throat> and if you have those, and I tell you, you can, anytime, you know, Darius or Dante, any, any of those guys you have in here, and you ask them, um, that's one thing that I talk about with those guys. Is, is if I look at assisted tackles at the end of the year, and there's a, especially a linebacker or defensive lineman that have a high number of those, well, that tells me what I need to know about your effort because you're around the football. It's pretty simple. So, yeah, that means a lot to me. Greg Hunter. So, Jordan, um, we've talked a lot about Darius, and obviously he's played well, but have you ever had a nose guard that's as versatile as he? He's played defensive end for you. He played a lot of snaps at deep tackle this past week. So just his versatility for a guy that normally is a nose guard, where does that rate? Um, I've never had one that versatile. I've, ha I've had only one that's that explosive, who is a place for the 49ers now. Um, is very similar in, in height. I mean, DJ Jones is a lot is 310 pounds. And Darius would not be able to carry 310 pounds like like DJ does. But the explosiveness they're the same. Versatility they're not. Darius can play more positions than DJ could. DJ was strictly a nose guard, and he was a really good nose guard, and <clears throat> still is. Um, but Darius can can play any position up front, and that's if you can get five or six or seven of those, you got something. So. Cody Nesper. Hey, Jordan. Um, so Ellinger's, you know, other than Charlie Brewer, Ellinger's really going to be the only real experienced quarterback you face so far. Um, is there a big difference between preparing for a quarterback that you know has played a ton of games and you have a bunch of film on him versus, you know, these guys you have been playing that, you know, they're getting their first career starts or real first career, you know, snaps? Uh, the difference comes in how the scheme is, is called and executed. Um, you know, I think that anybody that that we have played that um, that is in that situation, probably like anybody normally would, it, 
You know, like if I had if I had to put three freshman D linemen out there, well, I can't do the same things that I was trying to do with three juniors and, or seniors. <clears throat> so I think it's probably a little bit of a simplification that goes on with an inexperienced or a younger guy, and sometimes that's good for them. I mean, it allows them to to uh, to play fast and, and know what to do, and they, the execution is probably a little better. Um, Sometimes when you do that now with, with Ellinger, I mean his his record and his his playmaking ability is, speaks for itself. Um, they you know they they don't allow him to do anything outside of their. I mean they don't ask him to do anything outside of their scheme, um, which again allows them to play fast and execute that scheme. And he's really good at it, and he's done it for a long time. So there's there a difference in preparation. I mean. You, know, you still got to prepare for the scheme as well as the player, and so he fits their scheme perfectly, and it makes it a makes it a challenge. John, curious. I don't know. You may have touched on this. I stepped out for a minute, but the decision to use Mesidor as a stand-up linebacker uh, in uh, in that instance against Kansas State is that a product of the Stills brothers up front playing off that? Is that Mesidor's athletic ability or is that just the evolution of where you've come six games into the season uh it's probably a little bit of all three um you know Akeem is you know a lot of times pass rushing is su such a natural thing and along with playing within our defense if you look at tackles for loss with guys that you know that have that those those statistics negative plays a lot of times those guys have a knack for either rushing the passer or finding the ball. A lot of times that's natural. Nakeem has that natural ability. Um, how you choose to use it as a coach <clears throat> is, is up to each individual coach. Um, there's one thing that I know about, about Darius is he requires a lot of attention. And so you can use that a lot of times to, to, um, to, to get that attention to go one way and you, and you, come back another way with whatever you're trying to do and with whoever you're trying to do it with. Um, and a lot of times it's about identification with the offensive line is what they're when you figure when you figure out what they're trying to ID and you can you can disguise that then you do that. But you know at the end of the day Akeem's a two hundred and sixty five pound kid that can run. And so him coming through there like that and get him isolated on a running back in protection, uh, that's normally a win. I'm assuming the more things you can get an offense to adjust and prepare for, the better when it comes to things like that? I mean, yeah, but there's always a rhyme and reason why you do it. And if you don't have a rhyme and reason to do it, then don't do it just to be – to say that you're quote, unquote, exotic. Just if it has a rhyme or reason – um, yes, if it doesn't, then no. Um, do what your kids feel comfortable with and what allows them to play fast. And that was just something that we we come across that that I thought had a lot of merit with how, with how Kansas State protected um, their quarterback. And once I knew that we, we started getting to him, um, you know, the Howard kid being a younger a younger kid, that's – you know, we ran that one play. And, it, and that one play paid off. So – we, we got the use that we needed out of it and the situation that we needed out of it. <clears throat> Go ahead, Kirk. Yeah, Coach, uh, what would you say is the best quality you've seen out of uh, the defense so far this year? And could you name one of your players who's maybe come the furthest uh, through the first half of this season? Um, you know, the thing that sticks out to me more than anything, I think it's always the stat – that tells you um, how hard your guys are playing. And, and if you look at tackling, and it's, we just talked about it with Tony, assisted tackles. If you're not missing a lot of tackles, then you're playing hard. And if you're playing hard, you have a chance. Because um, a lot of times in this league, with the skill players that you see, some you know, and, and how – people are trying to use them in space. Missed tackles are going to happen, especially when you get defensive linemen and inside linebackers out in that space and make them fundamentally make a 
clean tackle when that when the kid that the, has the ball is clearly more athletic or faster or whatever it may be. Um, so those are going to happen. Now, if you, if you're missing at the second guy, the third guy, the fourth guy, that's when you have the issue. So the thing that sticks out mostly to me is is tackling, which is effort. And that's all we talk about. That's all we're trying to – we talk about perfect effort. That's all we're trying to – that's the only thing you can be perfect at in football is, is your effort. And that's the only thing they control. Coaches should control the rest of it. Um, so that that's that's the one thing. You know, I think there's two kids that stick out um, that have um, – and I'll mention a third <clears> – <throat> that have really this year have done a phenomenal job um, – for us, number one is Jeff Pooler at the level of he's that he's playing at. Um, and if you watch film on Jeff and the things he's doing, um, that that kind of probably get overshadowed a little bit by Darius and Dante, and even Akeem to a certain extent. But Jeff's playing really good football right now, and it's really because he's playing hard. And number two is Josh Chandler. Um, Josh is is. Uh, has has had a couple of plays this year where it, it, it maybe looked a little bit like last year, but the number is, is definitely way, way less. And he's he's really come on. He's he's become a leader in that group. He really feeds off Tony. Um they they're kind of taking this thing by the reins, hopefully, um and rolling with it. Um and you know, and, uh, 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 the other one that I'll mention that's that's playing that's doing some things really well that do not sto- show up on a stat sheet that I get asked a lot about is Dante Steals. Dante has a couple of plays, especially from last Saturday. The reason that, that Tony and Josh had four or five tackles was because Dante, a couple of things Dante was doing inside, that single-handedly was forcing that ball to go to where we wanted it to go. And if that ball stays in there, he makes it. But that's not the design of what we're trying to do. And I think Dante understands that. Sometimes he gets a little frustrated. I mean, Dante's a competitor. He's a really good player, and really good players want to make a lot of plays. So where I tell him um, the really good things he's doing, it's not showing up on a stat sheet, but it's really, really helpful right now to our defense. Final two questions for Coach. Chuck Landon. Hey, Jordan, what, what have you got to do, or what do you, you try to do to get Ellinger out of his comfort zone? Well, I think any time that you can get to any quarterback – and 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 hit him, um, you know, not anything egregious or anything. Just if you, if you can just get there and, and make contact with him, to just to get him on that back foot, um, then it's an advantage for you. Um, if you know, it's kind of um, it's like boxing. You know, body blows. If you can, if you can get those landed, um, get him off of his get him off of his spot, then then that's with any quarterback, that's what you're trying to do. The problem with Ellinger is he's pretty good when he's off his spot, if you look at his play. So, you know, we've got to be able to um, to plaster on the receivers that we need to. We've got to be able to keep him from getting north and south on us and running, pulling that ball down um, and making the plays just strictly with his feet um, that he normally does. You know, it's one thing that hurt us last year is a touchdown going in. Um, Going into the uh, south end zone toward the hospital, that 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 really hurt us. Key point in that game, and he did it with his feet. And back to Mike. Jordan, they've um they've fallen behind a couple times this year, and and Ellinger just kind of it almost seems like sand lots it back into it the way he's playing. They're going fast, and that just comes with his experience, I'm sure. But it's a challenge for the defense. But you guys have had two big leads in conference play, and uneventful from there. How have you seen your defense respond to protecting leads? Uh, I mean, every situation is different. Um, you know, we did a – we've done a good job at times. And, you know, the other day at the end of the first half, we didn't. We didn't do a good job. We didn't make key third down plays and we, we give up a shot play. Um, you know, and we busted the coverage. So, um, overall, we, we've done pretty decent. we got to do better. Um, you know, a team like Kansas State last week play they play good from behind. So does Texas. Um, so, you know, if we're fortunate enough to be in that position, you know, we we got to <clears throat> we got to keep our our foot on the gas. And so, 
And it's really just it's more more than anything. It's just focus. You just got to stay focused and knowing that those situations, if you let them slip, will, will come back to bite you later in games. I always do. Um, we got lucky last Saturday it didn't, um, but they normally do.